Hey guys, Ajax22 here making an update video. A little bit of progress to uh, report. You'll all recognize this. The uh, firing pin retaining plate is off of the gun. A uh, little bit chewed up from filing on the firing pin to get rid of the mushrooming that occurred when I tapped on it with the wrong tooling, but it's off. It's the original, it's still usable. I may smooth it out a tiny bit uh, with the pattern file just to get rid of the deep cut mark that occurred, but uh, it's there. Um, firing pin is not out though. I need to get a longer punch to drive it back from this side. It's uh, protruding a little bit, you should be able to see. Not uh, not a huge deal. Should be pretty straightforward from this point on, as long as I manage to not uh, mushroom that over in the process. Uh, may actually purchase the correct punches and not just try to do it with the uh, whatever random components are sitting around the garage. Um, I actually made a punch out of a center punch using uh, a hand file because that's what I had lying around, and it worked. Um, possibly more effort than it should have been put into the process, but uh, if, we can tap, if we can tap that firing pin back out a little bit, we can work it back and forth and it should pop right out. The extractor, I'm not exactly sure how to apply pressure to that properly. I'm going to check out some videos, see if I can't figure that out. I've never tried to pull one out that was this frozen in. So, we'll see. But, as long as that firing pin comes out, and as long as that extractor, I mean, I guess the extractor doesn't really have to come out. It's working as is, so, as long as that firing pin comes out, we've got a, we've got a functional slide that we can shoot things with. Speaking of shooting things, the barrel. Here, let's see if we can show the rifling. It's cleaning up pretty good. The electrolysis run that we did on this uh, seems to have worked out pretty well. Uh, only downside was that it really did chew the entire electrode off. Here's the remnants. It, uh, yeah, it started out this long, and now it's this long. So that that didn't work as well or for as long as I would have hoped. I would have, would have liked to have gotten a little bit more work done on it. Uh, as you can hear from the buzzing, uh, I've got that uh, 44 Merwin Hubbard or Merwin Hulbert in the electrolysis right now and I'm going to do update video for that tomorrow. But uh, just wanted to show you guys the 1911 and a little bit of progress that's been made. It's not much, but it's significant. Um, a little tiny bit more on the slide and it'll be ready to go back together. Um, no love on those detents. I don't know what to do on those at this point. Um, I'm going to apply a little heat to them, see if we can free them up that way. Um, it might just come down to popping that whole tube off and putting a new one on, restaking, maybe calling up the dudes over at Turnbull and seeing if they can uh, set something up. I've got a lot of recommendations to go talk to those guys. But, uh, you know, we're, we're getting there. And uh, it looks like we're going to be able to reuse all the major components. You know, and even some of the minor ones, like the little slide stuff. I'm kind of kind of happy about that. I wasn't. It got a little messed up, but just adds character. Shows the part of the journey that this gun came through. So, that's where we're at. It's, uh, it's a gun. It's a little bit farther disassembled. Still a little bit, tiny bit more to go before we can start really putting this thing back together. The uh, main spring housing is still not happy. I've tried heating it up a little bit. Nothing popped out. Uh, I'm going to get the proper punches and try driving this out and getting the pin out. It, it might be worthwhile. I have I don't I've got mixed feelings on it, but drilling the the bottom of the mainspring housing and then using a thin punch to go through to try to knock the whole assembly out through the front. 
uh, that that's a possibility. The other way to do it, um, which is going to look cleaner, would be to come in with a mill and just uh, mill into the the plunger, and then maybe tap it, put put a put a screw into it, and then just try to break it loose by spinning it. That might work. I guess I could just uh, take a mill bit and try to try to plunge the whole the whole assembly out. But that could that that could get messy. So I'm gonna try to preserve this one as much as possible. Worst case scenario, I suppose I wouldn't feel horrible about uh, milling it all the way through and then you know welding this back up and and it won't it won't be too terribly visible. But I'd really like to keep it all original and all functional in its original form without having to get custom or creative. So, patience. Patience is the watchword. Alright guys, little bits, of, little bits and pieces update. That's, that's all I got for tonight.